Shit, your boy, this is a bringing you another great edition of Black Ops 2 for me because that's what I do. Ground War, kill, confirm, 9v9, going solo. This is post patch. I haven't, I didn't play Call of Duty Black Ops 2 all weekend. So then I played all day, most of the day today, uh, and I want, I was checking a lot of stuff. And it's safe to say that most of the stuff in the game that you would think that's nerfed it really it doesn't really make a difference it's it's not nerfed it you don't have to worry about things being nerfed from the patch um, I actually I think the 556 is actually better now some of the assault rifles are actually better since they took the sway away and um, they didn't take away the 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 RPMs on the 556 and the, you can see right here you know I thought about I thought I was gonna have to nerf and take a lot of these weapons out of my top 10 and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to keep them you know I was like I don't know if I'm I was like I, seriously I was about to delete the shotgun off my top 10 list but I am kind of I am kind of whittling them down like I'm trying I was doing a lot of experimenting today like I wanted to see if they did it a little did some hiding patching and didn't tell anybody so you know I would use I use weapons like the SMR and uh, use use weapons that I usually wouldn't use like the Chacoma or the you know, basically the uh, tech nines I don't know what I, I, FMG nines that's what I call them so I was using those, and I was just using a lot of different weapons. But uh, it's safe to say that the shotgun—I mean, the shotgun's not—it's still a great weapon with the long barrel and laser sight. So I went 84 and four, I think. I, can, I probably could have did like 100. I, I haven't reached Prestige 10 yet because I've been going through a lot of. Um, there's been a lot of issues. If you follow me on Twitter, I was talking to like Xbox support, Xbox Live. I was like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if the connection. This is the first Call of Duty that I've played since Call of Duty 4 when Halo 2 was out or Halo 3, I don't remember, that had connection issues. And I asked Xbox support specifically. I was like, is this a Treyarch problem or is this an Xbox Live service problem? And, you know, what it was going on was is I kept getting booted out of games. Like, I'd be in a game and, and it would be going fine. And it's not, the, it's not the booted out of the game where somebody just, like, decides they want to leave the game and, and they, get, they get butt hurt and they quit, quit out of the game. No, it's like it just totally drops everybody. And I don't know, maybe that is, because I was running different score streaks. I'm going to tell you, I was running the most annoying score streaks. If you have a chance to run these score streaks, I was running LVSTAT, EMP, and uh, Chopper, or I don't know, something like that. But v -stat, uh, L stat, V stat, and, and EMP are the most too annoying, because if you throw those two out, it's like, okay, first we're going to blind your HUD and knock all your kill streaks out and everybody's gonna know where you're at so you're screwed so it's just like it's funny you just see the you see the triangles just stop in the middle of the game and I got a game where like I did it twice as this team and they just left the room so it's the most it's my uh, new annoying score streak setup let me know if you want me to post that video I should have some videos. These dudes left the game. It was funny. I had two EMPs, two uh, V stats. You won't get a high score, but it's just really annoying. And, and, and I don't know. I was playing against some people there. You, you could tell they were just try hard on me, and I just I was just trying stuff out, and I get these tweets like, "Dude, you're the only YouTuber that stayed in the game." I'm like, "Are you surprised?" <laughs> like, yeah, I do stay in all my games, win or lose. I don't give a damn. So, anyways, going back to the shotgun, uh, the 870, it's not, like, with laser sight, I mean, I mean, how much can you really nerf a shotgun? It's got to be able to kill you at some type of range, right? So, I mean, if you're going to stick your head out like these guys, you're going to get it. So, that's the thing, you know, you want to use the, sh you have to have 
I mean, I get annoyed when I get killed by the shotgun. Who doesn't? Like, you get shot one time, and you're like, ah, oh, shit. Even when you get killed by the, um, the KSG-12, even though they put a slug in the thing, like, who would have ever thought that somebody at Treyarch Developer would decide to give a KSG-12 shotgun a slug? You do us a favor. Give the first shotgun that's unlockable the slug. Give the good shotguns. They should have made the 870 the last unlockable shotgun. Seriously, every other shotgun's trash. You know, LMGs. I was like running. You know, like I've been running every day, and I've been, I was running, and I always like think about things, and like it came across my mind. I'm like, how many times has developers sat there and been like, how do we set the LMGs? Like, they got 100, they, they got 50 drum bullet clips, or whatever drums, and you can't have a 50 bullet drum kill you, really, you know, because the bullets are endless, but then again, you think of, uh, okay, well, you got the, the cape, the PDW, it's got 50 bullets, so you're thinking to yourself, oh, the PDW's got 50 bullets in the SMG, but the LMG has 50 bullets, and it can't kill somebody, and the mobility is really low, and you look at a sniper, and the sniper rifle weighs just as much as an LMG, but their mobility is high. So, like, I look at all the priorities within the, this game, even though it is a video game, it's kind of like, it's bias. You're biased to the LMGs, you're biased to the sniper, or uh, to the shotguns. But, I guess, you know what, here's what I can say about the SMGs, maybe I did enough bitching on Twitter because they did post videos of the SMG with 20 bullets in the clip. If you remember in Black Ops, they had 25, 20 bullet clips. You could barely kill one or two people. So, I mean, I really raised hell on that. So, here's the thing. I mean, there are some great pros to this game. You know, obviously, the things that they fixed from Black Ops 1, the SMGs have big clips. You know what I'm saying? The big uh, clips. There's no death streaks. There's no sit rep for all. Those are some of the reasons why a lot of people still play this game and love it. You know, you could take the bad. I mean, it's just like it's just like anything in life. You're gonna have the good and the bad and the ugly. You're just gonna have to like, okay, find the good in it that you like, and that's why I still play it. You know what I mean? Same thing when you like if you're dating a chick or something, you know, you're gonna be like, okay, there's a couple little things you don't like about her, but you could overlook her because overlook those things because she's a cool person and she's not you know, you meet a beautiful chick but she's got an ugly attitude and makes her ugly. So those are the things, you know, you can overlook those things. And that's why I look when I look at you know Black Ops 2, I'm like, ah, you know, I, I'm very thankful that there's no last sand, zip rep pro, and 20 bullet clips and SMGs. I can deal with that. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Post patch 240, I think 432. Um, everything's the same, other than everything is pretty much the same, other than lightning strike. You might as well switch to Hellstorm. It's much easier. Uh, switch to Hellstorm. Everything else is pretty much the same. I will be doing some other videos on SMRs and some other stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.